Hello, welcome back. In the last program, we have seen how to handle string through character arrays and how to assign values to the string. As Hello, welcome back. In the last program, we have seen how to handle string through character arrays and how to assign values to the string as a string and as character array separate values or if you want to give all the values together those techniques we have tried in the previous video and let us try something else ok the same character variable character array it can be display it can be used in another way instead of using it as an array of characters we can use it as a pointer or a string variable like this If you put a star before the variable, then it is a pointer variable. That means you can have any number of characters to be stored in the string variable in the consecutive memory location. That means in the very first location, the first character will be stored. In the next location, the next character, next location, next character, like that, any number of characters can be stored and we have given this within the double quotation that means at the end the assignment will automatically assign a slash zero character at the end we don't have to specify it manually instead of this array declaration we can use this declaration as well let us try it save the program the program is str4 program got linked let me run the program ok now we are getting the display we could print it out so instead of giving an array we can use a pointer in this example so if you want to declare a pointer variable we have to put a star after the data type character data type and before the variable we have to use the star and we have printed it with the with the help of percentage s formatting character that means we have printed it as a string of characters okay let me try some more modifications in the program instead of printing all the characters together uh, let me try to print all the characters separately from the string for that I am using a while loop here in this program let me comment this statement so we don't want to print it as a string we are trying to print it at as individual characters we are using a while loop we have already seen what a while loop is this is a looping construct if you want to do a part of the code repeatedly for a certain number of times we can have a looping construct we have different types of loop and while is such a loop in the while loop we have the termination condition the loop will terminate if the condition is true the condition is given str i so we need an integer variable here int i and let us declare uh, let us initialize the value as 0 so this is a variable integer type and it is having an initial value of 0 ok and within the program we are incrementing the value of i i++ plus plus. i++ plus plus means that we are incrementing the value of i each time of its execution so first time the value of i will be 0 then when it reaches this line of the code this part of the code it will increment by 1 then it, it will become 1 i will become 1 again when it come it will become 2 3 onwards so 
so every time the number will increment and each and every time when it is coming for the next iteration of the loop even at the time of entering into the loop for the very first time it will check whether this value string i the very first position of the i value if not equal to 0 this assign this uh, logical operator is not equal to if this value not equal to 0 then it will come inside otherwise it will skip the loop this is the exit condition for the loop if the condition is true then it will come otherwise it will skip out of the loop so slash 0 will be the last character in a string if it is assigned in double quotation automatically the last character slash 0 will be assigned by the system itself we don't have to implicitly give it so this is a string and we know that the last character is slash 0 till we reach the last character or the slash 0 we have to repeatedly do these statements what are the statement the very first statement is print of we have given percentage c that means we are going to print only one character at a time str of i so very sta first time it will be 0 then 1 2 3 onwards it will be incrementing so each time when it is passing through this while loop one one characters will be printed and finally we will be getting the total string shadi that's my first name it will be getting printed by this program let us see it let me compile the program okay program got compiled and linked let me run the program mm -hmm. the name of the program is str4 okay my name got printed here shaji See in this program the interesting fact is that we have declared a pointer variable here and we have assigned a string to the pointer variable str and we have printed it as separate characters instead of treating it as a single string 